It should be exciting. They just have a ridiculously talent stacked and name stacked team. Yeah. And uh, it looks like first round is going to be getting underway, and my map always glitches out right off the bat. But we didn't miss any of that action. Pex down the middle, actually, getting quite a few kills there. Yeah, actually, that's a Dren picking up the other one. Icy goes down, and this round looks like it's going the way of the CTs currently. We have Deborn left alive, and uh, he's going to be going up against all four, I should say, four of the CT players, and they take him down easily. So Stream Team picks up the pistol round, and that's... Uh, Generally CT side, so eh, I can see yeah. that. But, uh, yeah, it, I have to say, though, it was a very quick round, and it wasn't really well contested by Manajuma. I kind of forgot that the stream team had Pex on their roster. Uh, Pex and Adren were longtime teammates on, on uh, Team Dynamic, uh, and they played a lot of this map, as this was a source map. I wouldn't be surprised if we see them go to town in middle and, and really running all over the map and dominating because bring the, the the teammate experience together. Yes, second round incoming here. And uh, it looks like even though your T's lost that round, they still upgraded here. And uh, P250 is trying to work their way into the B bomb site. Pauly is right there waiting, though. Deborn just still trying to get that shot off. Can't work his way in on Saturday. Now he gets up on top of him, gets him down, and Dren gets a kill. So three versus three, half power. Irikanji actually hasn't picked up M4 right now. So that is a good look for him as he's trying to work his way around. Let's take a peek at Peck, who's moving up through the jail. Irikanji uses that gun so well right there. Taking down A2Z. Peck! Or Pex answers twice, actually. Deborn goes down. Irikanji both go down. And Adren cleans up with the final kill of the round. But that was a bomb plant there. So they bought P250's one Deagle. They should still be able to buy this next round. And uh, I see Manajuma going for it here. They already bought yeah, second absolutely. round with a bomb plant. They're going to go for this. I, I guess they heard my hint of negativity in, uh, I guess, my analysis after the first round. They really didn't do anything that exciting in the first round. They all just kind of ran out and got picked. And this round was probably about as opposite uh, to that as possible. They did a great job getting picks. Unfortunately, they couldn't clean up the round, but really, they were they were really, really close. If they had, you know, maybe an extra he grenade or two or, you know, got a little more lucky with their position, they easily could have done the extra, you know, 50 damage grand total that they needed to to lock down the round. I thought it was a great round, and they're looking to go B again. I think they, they sense a weakness there. And it looks like we have all of the terrorists buying, except for Shroud and Miniker, who, uh, who are actually... Who are, Eric Kanji goes down in the smoke to Polly right there. That was pretty dirty. That story Abe gets rocked on the ramp. And then, wow, Shroud is completely nuts. It's not even fair. Takes Polly down with that pistol that he has. So pistol, head armor. Miniker gets another kill. Actually, one kill in the round. Shroud picked up both those kills. Actually working his way into B. So bomb plant B. Pex and A2Z left alive. We just watched Pex go down to Miniker right there. And now only one CT left. That's A2Z trying to move his way back around. He's over on CT side. Gonna rotate back out. Save his rifle. And that buy there for Manajuma worked out well. Even though two of the players did not actually get rifles. They opted to go with pistols. And uh, actually... Yeah, they went with a P250 and a Deagle and a head armor there. So those two players actually got both the kills this round. And uh, they're going to be Manajuma on the board now. Yep, on the board definitely with a great round uh, catching Eye by Power. I guess off guard at, uh, I don't know, they must have expected the buy, but they, they really weren't rotating like they had expected. I, I mean, Adren was uh, cycling his guns as he was running in through jail and then got it instantly destroyed when he came uh, around the corner with no gun. I, I, don't, I don't know if that was a miscommunication of how fast the terrorists were able to get through, but the stream team really needs to tighten up their rotates uh, if they want to shut down Manajuma when they have guns, because really shooting is uh, Manajuma's strong point. And moving out, look at Pex right there, down in the middle, just underneath. Peaks a little too early. Irikanji gets him, but Adren is able to make him pound it or able to punish him for that. And then a few more kills happen there. I see Miniker and Shroud also get kills at the end of that. So Manajuma has tied it up now. 2-2 two to two with Shroud getting a 2K on that round. So two rounds in a row with wins. Shroud has 2Ks there. Coincidence? Uh... <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, maybe not. Is this the first round? Did, they, did the, the counter save last round? That I, I was believe... a save from the CTs. Yeah, all right. That's what I thought. So yeah, they are... Right, right. They're going basically for a, a double save. They didn't fully buy up uh, last round, which means their economy is, uh, you know, not really in that much great shape. That's what happens when you get ecoed and have a, a very near eco right before it. Although, I guess, sorry, they didn't get eco. They got surprise bought on right before, right after getting almost eco. But still, it does a lot of work to damage your economy, and uh, it sets you up for double saves. And Deborn worked his way into the site, teaming up to get a couple kills there. Icy also gets some damage off, but Adren works his way in late from the jail. 
getting the pick right there. Miniker goes down, and then Irukandji is able to clean up Pauly. So Shroud has one kill. Irukandji has a kill. Icy and Deborn also. And it looks like Icy is going to pick up the final kill of the round there. And Manajuma moves ahead by one round. But this will be the full buy for both teams here. And this will be uh, pretty intuitive as how the rest of the game will go. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. And I, one thing I, I think is super important that Manajuma instantly found their range. I think they know what they're good at, uh, and I think what they're good at is shooting. They all have, you know, the, if you look down just their names, all you see is just good shooters, people who are really good at just raw accuracy and being able to shoot. And they're using that to their advantage at B, or they have in, uh, you know, so far. So, you know, I guess we get to see them now with an, an A take attempt, although Irukanji having a lot of trouble getting boost on that box. That might be something that was fixed today. Um, I know a, an update for the map uh, actually went out today, so maybe that was one of the things. I don't know if you caught any of that, but... Yeah, I was watching it from a Dren's perspective, though. I was going to try and see if he was going to be able to get out there and uh, get picked or not. But nothing happened there. Couldn't get on top of the box. And A2Z absolutely just ate a grenade in the teeth over there in the A-Halls. I do believe who threw that one. I think it was Irukandji who threw that. No, it couldn't have been Irukandji. Would have been deborn then. But Miniker in the mid takes a Dren down. So now here comes the T push into the mid area. They're going to work up in there, see if they can get someone close. And Steph's Tori is right there. Irukandji spots him through the smoke, takes him down, and moves his way back over towards CT spawn. And the terrorists are actually going to fall off and go back into A, see if they caught a rotator there. And they did not catch a rotator. Both CTs that were in the A site are still there. A2Z working his way back into the halls. Deborn was ready to finish him off right there. And Icy gets the other kill on Pex. So Manajuma gets a bomb plant in the A bomb site, and only Pauly is left alive for the CT team. He's probably just going to try and save this, see if he can get an exit or two, and ooh, man, this might be a situation where he can almost sneak in there and defuse the bomb. Only one player left into the site, one close, and here comes the pushes. Terrorists are working their way all the way over into the B bomb site. Manicure's going to get caught from behind right here. He's going to look and can't make the shot off, so now Pauly has been spotted here, and he absolutely has to get out of here, but coming directly for him is another terrorist right there, the number nine player. That's Irukandji, who's waiting <laughs> can't get the shot off, and Paulie's going to be able to save that up unless they can collapse quick enough here. Bomb's about to blow. He flashes. I think he's got this. I think he's fine. Maybe. Oh! oh. Deborn from behind gets yeah, the, the kill on really worked. Yeah. For a second there, I thought Paulie would have been scot free. He did a good job of staying mobile after he got the pick, and I also like that he was, you know, had the, the heads up play to swap out uh, his M4 for the op, knowing what would benefit his team. Uh, especially having that uh, off in a Dren's hand, but no, unfortunately it didn't work out, and they're back to saving. The CT's not a lot of money in the bank. Um, you know, 3,600 on Pauly, who, who just died, 2,800 on A2Z. Maybe we'll see a double buy after this, but, uh, well, for their sake, I hope we do. Pauly, look at him trying to push out from jail right there into the mid, gets a kill. A2Z also, Pauly almost just got smoked through the vent, though. That's your number, who is that, your number eight player, I do believe. Oh, Pauly gets another kill right there. Deborn cleans up, though. Finally getting that kill on A2Z. Pauly's going to jump down, try and get that gun. Low, low HP, and he dies. So Statutory Ape versus Shroud and Deborn, and he is getting pushed right now. Shroud doesn't see him coming, and Statutory Ape is able to steal the gun right there. So now Deborn knows where Statutory Ape is or was, anyways, and he flashes over there, drops down with the bomb. He's got so much time on this round to get out of here. Fakes the plant. Statutory Ape too far away now to get to the bomb or hear it. I do believe he heard it that time. Knows it's not a fake. Takes a shot. He's going to throw that splash in there. Try and get around right here. 1v1 incoming. Statutory Ape is able to get the AK headshot off on D-Born. So bomb plant anyways for Manajuma. So money-wise, they weren't hurt too bad on that round. But that is definitely going to help out the stream team with the round win right there. Bringing it back within one round. 4-3 to three, Manajuma. I'm not sure if I exactly feel that peak that D-Born had right there. I mean... Obviously, I'm not, I'm not trying to teach Derek uh, how to play, but, uh, you know, in this situation, he knew exactly where the terrorist was. He was able, I'm pretty sure he had some nades that he could have used to, to zone the, the CT effectively. I mean, he has enough money in the, in the bank now where you got to assume he had nades. Uh, and he could have, he basically had the entire site to himself. He could have gone almost anywhere, but he just chose to, he chose to 1v1 the CT. I guess thought, thinking maybe he could catch the CT off guard, but it didn't work out that time. Um, well, you know, once again, they, they know what their advantage is, they know they're, they're good at shooting, uh, and that's what they're looking to do. They're looking to, you know, just engage these counter-terrorists. Oh, and it looks like all the terrorists are going to be stacked up over there in the A-Halls. They are going to get out and get their way into the site. Only one player left over there. That's going to be a Dren, and here comes the fall-off. He actually throws a good flashbang right there, and they all run away, and look at that rotate right now. 
all of the CTs had rotated in there. Adren must be calling it now because they've stopped. One working his way back to the middle. One player over here, that's Pauly. Irukandji directly in front of him. Irukandji gets the kill on him. So one more CT, Statutory Ape working through the jail as the terrorists move their way back. Irukandji is going to get in a gunfight with Statutory Ape. And Statutory Ape wins that gunfight also. T's have committed now over to B, even though they know the CTs have rotated there. And I would like to see the number seven player of Icy work his way through mid to jail, but it's not going to happen that way. And uh, they're going to work their way. Nope. Double fake back. Statutory Ape in jail, though, <laughs> is able to call that because he's close enough. Shroud is going to get into the vent and maybe pick Statutory Ape. How about this double fake right here later? I mean, it's, you know, I guess it's, oh my god, and they're going to do the triple fake, bringing the bomb back B. I think that's the right play, although now number three is not going to hear it. Number three is a Dren. Dren's not going to hear it. They're going to be able to sneak the bomb right into B under the counter terrorist nose. Um, you know, uh, I think they had the right move. I think they were just avoiding the counter terrorist pretty much perfectly this entire time. I, I mean, the more you move the bomb around, the the higher chances you have of kind of messing up the play or, or getting caught, but they seem to have done it properly, so I have no complaints. And they're able to work their way in there. 13 seconds left. Plenty of time with no opposition to get in there and get the bomb down. And I do believe at this point your CT team has... It looks like they're just going to have full save. They're not even moving towards it. They already decided that if they weren't able to catch people entering the A-bomb site, they were going to save. And uh, they are just going to full save their guns here. So Adren's going to be able to get away with armor and an M4, statutory ape, head armor, and an AK. And the hunt is on now. I see by himself going to try and hunt this. I, it's going to be a round win, but you died last time. You kind of broke. Probably wouldn't hunt right here, but I, I don't know. How do you feel about it later? Um, well, if you look at the scoreboard right now, they are a, a weird in-between not broke and broke. Uh, you know, at the end of that, when the bomb just went off, their money reset. And it looks like the, the poorest player is uh, Minica with 5,400. So really, you know, financially, they're not terrible. Uh, and, and the richest player at the same time was Icy, who had a, a, about 12K in the bank, or currently has 12K in the bank. So, you know, really, if one or two players hunt, they can always get drops from their teammates, or sometimes they have the funds to, to fund themselves. At this point... Frags are, are, you know, they're just trying to take guns out of the other team's hands, making it easier for themselves down the line. If they can keep the win streak up, then then hunt away. But uh, if the game was slightly more even, maybe I would d dissuade hunting. Right now, it looks like Manajum has, has a firm grasp over the stream team despite the close score. The stream team actually decided or opted to buy up around the two rifles that were saved. And look at Pex right there in the middle. Minaker was not ready for that. Icy was able to capitalize on the end, though, and gets a double kill on Adren there. Irukandji gets A to Z now. So now we only have Pauly. Last one left. He has that silenced M4 with no head armor, working his way back over to the A bomb site where the terrorists are about to plant. Now, Irukandji should be able to call that noise. Pauly just made and know that he's there and it looks like he's going to be hunting him and here comes Deborn also from the front so on the flank right there now they definitely know he's there Eric Kanji is going to be lying in the weight and he gets smoked wow Pauly with a 2k right there makes this round close he might have a chance to go for this and try and fight this out Icy's a little bit low 46 HP Shroud with 70 Icy does have a 2k on the round here Shroud looking to try and even that up and get a 2k that was a pretty nice nade if it would have hit Pauly that would have stopped right at his feet and blown him up and he's going to fight Shroud right here, and Shroud is able to win that battle after the bomb got planted in the A-bomb site. So Manajuma is up 6-3 to three now. So yeah, Manajuma has the, the current the current score uh, control, and I feel like they've been, they've been dominating the, the, the map, despite the fact what the score shows. But, you know, the, the stream team is not a team that should be taken lightly. I, I'm not sure what their, you know, their practice uh, regimen is. I, I know... Pax quote unquote retired a little bit ago. Adren, you know, starting a new job. Not sure how much he's practicing. They're all dangerous players individually. They just have to put it together uh, at, at the same time, and uh, they just have to be slightly more dangerous than Manajuma, who is just one of just the, the scarier teams in terms of their composition. And Shroud and Miniker both doing work this round. Miniker got a 2K before he got traded out. Shroud with one, Icy with one, and your terrorists have worked it down once again. Pauly by himself, he's gonna catch. Shroud right here in the vent. Shroud might be able to get these shots off first, though, even though he's using the 5.7 here. Shroud rocking the AK. Gunfight through the vent. Flank from Icy. And uh, that is going to do it at the end of that round. Shroud ends up getting the headshot, though. And Manajuma moves up 7-3 to three now. I know what Paul was going for, and he kind of had to do something even because he only had the 5.7. But challenging Shroud in the vents, out of the vents, doesn't matter what gun he has in his hand, you know you know he's going to click on click on your head. And he's going to do it very quickly. He has that near-robotic aim. He has a great positioning to, to set himself up for the frags. 
So, you know, I, I guess, you know, maybe I would try to run away, find another player to kill. But I guess I, res I respect the, the heart trying to take down uh, Shroud, the human aimbot. Yeah, and look at this stack here in the middle. This is an aggressive play here. We had your number three and your number four player, Adren and A2Z, working their way into the middle, get, actually getting a pick of a player who was trying to work out. And look at this, they're going to collapse right now on the A side. One from the J-Halls, and Pex was right there in the pit to get that off before the plan happens. And A2Z with a double right there. That was a good job on the flank there, and Pex just gets ripped from his teammate A2Z. Actually, no, not that much damage. It looked like a lot more. Shroud by himself. We need to get back over to his perspective, and he goes down right when I'm trying to do it. So, Statutory Ape cleans up the round right there, and the stream team is still alive this half. They have four rounds to their name on CT side. Man, and June was seven. A2Z was really the unsung hero of uh, that round, taking down, I think it was Icy Niru Kanji, who had a, a crossfire going uh, in the cubby on Cat. Usually what happens is if there's a player uh, in Cubby on Cat, uh, a player will you know come around and pre-fire it, or if you see the player, just try to push the player in the Cubby. But rarely do they expect two players to be in there. And and usually what happens is you know uh, a player will push in and get careless, take down the first one and not be able to get the second one. Or when they see the second one, they kind of freak out and shoot in between. Uh, and it didn't work out. ATZ just shut him, shut him down, shot right through one and picked up the second one. And, and right here, they're not getting any traction as, uh, oh, maybe a little bit more traction than I thought as Dborn gets a pick, but... Uh, but yeah, the, they were kind of stalled out, not quite in the bomb site. Irakonji able to capitalize on the end right there. Runs out with his knife though. Should have checked for the second one. That's going to be Pex, who ends up getting a 2k on the round. Statutory with a 2k also. And they're getting this a lot closer first half. Scores 7 to 5. Stream team starting to adapt here, playing a little bit more aggressive in the mid, which is, I think, what's changing these rounds for them. It's giving them a much faster rotate. Um... You know, Manajuma is a, a very fast and a very, you know, mechanically strong team, as, as I keep repeating. So they're getting places quickly, and if the CTs aren't ready for it, then they're, they're not able to get places to support their team in time, and that's how they're losing the sights. By playing the aggressive mid, it gives them a much faster rotate pretty much all over the map, and it lets them contest uh, with the rest of their team. And round 13 underway. Look at this. They're able to just work their way in there. They're all stacked up working into the A-bomb site right now. Eric Kanji bringing up the flank. That aggressive play kind of backfired right there. Now they're going to have to play the retake here. Bomb did not get into the site fast enough. Not able to get the plan off. Now here comes the CT push. A2Z goes down. Adren ends up getting a kill. Statutory Ape on the flank. And this is going to be a failed attempt here from your terrorist team as the CTs were able to rotate even though they left the site wide open. Statutory Ape cleans up at the end of that. That nade brings him the 3k on the round. And almost tied up here. 7 to 6 Manajuma is still up, but these rounds that they're losing here, uh, this is going to take a toll moving in the second half on them. Yeah, definitely, especially with their with their momentum. A lot of people undervalue how important momentum is going from from half to half. Even if you have a, a, a bad half overall, if you start to put it together towards the end, it makes you feel a lot better going to second half. It makes you feel a lot more confident and, and your play, uh, you know, follows suit. You start to play more confidently, hit your shots. The communication gets, you know, is, is more on point. Yeah, it's really important. If the stream team can, can win out from here, that would be uh, pretty devastating for Manajuma. And one thing I noticed in chat, people are talking about the, uh, the movement of Shroud here, moving from Exertus. For those of you that don't know, clearly he's not playing with Exertus right now. Actually switched his way over to Manajuma, which I think is a huge, huge move for him. And I think it's going to be good. Uh... As, yeah. as somebody said in chat, they were talking about uh, the direction his former team was going in. He wasn't really interested in and wanted to focus more on the pro side of things, which is which is cool. I really respect that. And I like moves like that that are for the better, especially for a team like Manajuma. You got Eric Kanji on there and Miniker on there. Like, this dude, That's a strong team. He's, they're he's, he's a big name surrounded by other big names, which is exactly what Shroud wanted. I, I mean, you know, team hopping really isn't fun for everybody. Team hopping is something that has been a staple of North American Counter-Strike for a while, but... You know, with a move like this, I, I, I can't be mad. I've wanted to see Shroud grow, uh, you know, as a player and to kind of prove to everybody that he can be a top-tier talent. And I think he has a much better chance with uh, the, his surrounding cast now uh, than he did on Exodus. But, you know, I think Exodus was a good team. So I, you can't take anything away from them either. No, I, I think Exodus was probably one of my, if not my favorite new up-and-coming team, they were, they were one of the top teams for me moving up into the ranks of your professional division anyways 
And uh, I liked him a lot, and I like Shroud a lot. I like his playstyle, and I think it's a good move for him. But your terrorist team has actually worked their way into B after getting only one pick. Actually, two picks. D-Born got one. Icy got one. Miniker gets one working into the site. Teaming up with Eric Kanji on that one. A2Z on the rotate. Bomb plant B. Now we have Pex and A2Z trying to steal another round here and even this up at 7-7. Seven seven. Miniker takes Pex down, so now we only have A2Z, and A2Z is the last player alive. He's got to kill right there. One more time, he's got Shroud directly in front of his face. Can't look down into the bomb site as he's looking towards the stairs, entering into B, uh, looking at Icy, so he goes down. Shroud is able to clean that up. And Manajuma moves up another round, so score is 8-6 to six now as we move into the final round of the half. This final round is going to be really important, but I don't think either team will be kind of too upset with uh, whatever the outcome is. Actually, I think Manajuma would definitely prefer the, the 9-6. to six. I think the stream team... Uh, you know, when when they started to lose a lot of rounds in, the, in a row, you kind of readjust your expectations for the half. And I think a 9-6 half, all things considered, wouldn't be terrible for them. If they only lose by, by three rounds, I could definitely see them uh, coming out with the teamwork to lock it down on T-side. Uh, these pushes right here are working extremely well for the stream team. You just saw a pick there. Adren was able to get an off shot on Miniker, who is moving through the cat. Pauly's about to get clipped from behind. Irukanji is able to take him out, waiting outside B. And it looks like the rest of the teaser are just going to execute their way over to B. Three CTs stacked at the A bomb site. And uh, luckily here, the stream team is not over-rotating like they had done before. And Statutory Ape gets one, gets two on the round. So now we have Shroud by himself. Trying to drop into the site right there. He's going to drop on top of Stat Story. Gets him. He knows A2Z is right there. Trying to get some shots off. A2Z is so low now. He's just got to step out. Not get blown up by that grenade. And then move around. So he's in a one versus three here. If anyone is able to clutch this, I do believe it would be Shroud right here. Yeah, absolutely. He has to make a pick happen soon because he is getting flanked. And wow, he's actually able to work his way into that CT area. And wow, he's able to pick up two where he takes on Dread. But no. Pex. Uh, ruining our fun, taking down Shroud and ending the half eight to seven in favor of Manajuma. Still Not a, a bad for ending, Shroud right there. Yeah, definitely. Oh man, I mean, Shroud was was super close to putting that together there. And as I said, he kind of ruined our fun. Uh, I would have been more than happy to yell about Shroud clutching that round, but <laughs> um, I, I, hopefully, hopefully, he'll give us more opportunities uh, in, in this half when his team is now on the CT side. Yeah, and as you see, the stream team was able to pull that back together, which. That's pretty good. Pretty they, were falling, yeah. they were falling behind quickly there. Manajuma looked like they were going to take over this game in, in a dominating fashion and very, very quickly. So let's see what the stream team can do here. Remember, they won the first pistol round, so this will be your uh, remain, your final pistol round of the game here as we're in the second half. And Eric Kanji is going to meet the first player. That's Pex. Gets the kill on him, and then drops down. A2Z is right there in his face, though, on the trade out. So executing their way into the B. Icy gets one. Icy trying to get some more. Can't make it happen right there. Icy actually didn't even get that pick. I thought he did. Uh, looked like he got the kill, and he did not. So Adren, A2Z, and Statutory Ape with a kill on the round. D-Born just trying to shoot. So it's a two versus three. Bomb plant into B. The terrorists are holding quite well here. Here comes Pauly. Pauly is able to get a shot off on two players right there. If he can just work over there. And Pauly's not peeking. All right, A2Z gets the peek off Shroud. Gets a kill on the trade there. Pauly goes down. So Shroud, one versus three once again on the redo without guns, though. Peeks out, gets one. Trying to get the other ones. A2Z is so low. They keep peeking at opposite times. He gets it. He gets another one. And he might be able to get a Dren here. Can't make a Dren happen. So on the clutch, once again, one versus three. Shroud comes up short only with a 3K on the round. And the stream team has now tied it up against Manajuma. Shroud didn't really uh, have it, or no, he didn't really. He didn't have a kit there, so he, he wouldn't have been able to put that one together, even if he took out a Dren. But I think that round was Manajuma's to win. I mean, they had the, the intel that the terrorists were there pretty quickly. Uh, the, the terrorists didn't slow down. Pex uh, couldn't get his opening kill because he got caught with a nade out. You know, uh, if the CT rotate came in a little faster, or you know, maybe if they gambled a little bit, they definitely could have gotten that, that, that retake, or at least or even the initial hold. Uh, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this is Manajuma's game to win, and they have to prove how much they want to win right now uh, with an eco or even just a solid gun round once they get their hands on weaponry. I, man, I... Ooh, Miniker, right there with an amazing open shot right there on Adren, getting the one deeg on him down middle. That was a, that was a beautiful shot. I saw it from uh, Adren's perspective as he got his face tore off, but I really thought Icy... It looked like Icy dinked two people 
moving their way into the site when he was underneath uh, in what used to be the pit in the bomb site. I, I thought he got those kills right there, but he ended up not getting them, and I, I was convinced he got at least one from all the blood and the dink that happened. So if he could have capitalized on a few kills into that round, that would have helped out a ton. And the CTs are holding very well here. And taking a page out of the Manajuma playbook is the stream team working their way back off a of fake. They realized there was a stack there, lots of CTs, so they're going to work back over to B. Actually, they're just going to hold in mid here, try and work down. And that's the call. Dborn sees one. He's going to call that there's some in mid, working towards B. Gets a lot of damage off right there. I do believe that was working against Pex and A2Z. Pex is extremely low. Here comes the Tease working into the jail. A2Z is so low. A2Z goes down. Miniker with another Deagle on the round. Statutory Ape on the trade. Pex rotating from behind, though. 11 HP. That is Icy able to pick that up. Eric Kanji gets one, and Shroud closes out the round. So Miniker with a 2K, both with a Deagle. Statutory Ape only able to get a kill on that round. And Manajuma brings it back. I do believe, is that the second time they ecoed? They ecoed first half. Yeah, right kind of. Pistol. It wasn't exactly an eco. They didn't. They Light lost buy. the round of me. Yeah, they got him with the uh, the surprise buy, uh, the round three buy. But uh, you know, I guess Manajuma heard what I said and proved that they they did one. I said they need an eco. I said that they need or uh, you know even a, a solid gun round. That was what they needed. They've they've been doing a good job of uh, pushing the stream team around, and the stream team has been doing a good job of. Uh, shutting them down when they need to. This is a very back and forth game, and ecos like that are the rounds that will make the difference. And it looks like the terrorists are just going to completely stack themselves over there towards B. And Icy is right there. Throws a nade. That nade is going to do a ton of damage. He gets two on the nade. Got a 3k. Eric Kanji gets one. And then trying to clean up the last of the kills on the round. And that is it. Icy with the 3k. Eric Kanji with the two. Manajuma moves ahead by two rounds now. And uh, their CT side is looking relatively strong here. We'll have to wait and see how it goes once both teams are on full buys. Right. As you just pointed out, the stream team is going to be on a save. So this is a very important economy building round for Manajuma. Some of their players still have Galils. Two of them still have Galils that they picked off terrorists. Those are guns that could be upgraded, and their economy is not super stable right now. Three people have a little bit of money, but uh, Icy and Miniker still are in the $1,000 range. So a round win here would uh, do a lot for their economy and continue to push them uh, farther away from the stream team and closer to that, that 16 uh, round. The terrorists are trying to work in. Irakonji with a 2k. Adren is able to also get a 2k on the round right there, but takes a ton of damage. He's down to 13 HP. A2Z is down to 18. Miniker gets one. Miniker gets two right there. Pex is able to clean up at the end of that, though. So now he's got a one versus two. Very manageable, winnable game here. They CTs do not know the bomb is down outside B, and he should be able to. I would like to see him fake right here. I would I would love to see him fake the mid, rotate back into B. He's got plenty of time on the round. He's got a minute and nine seconds. And he's going to fake Might be what deep. he's going to do. He's faking deep. Oh, that's exactly what he's doing. You inception the idea into his head. He's, he's walking it right back into B. Uh, I guess, uh, was that Shroud? I, I can't tell if Shroud heard Pax. There's no way he could have heard him from that range. Or maybe maybe he did. Who knows? Uh, but he, he's definitely, he had some inkling that, uh, that Pax was falling back. And that inkling is actually... Might be their downfall this round as Pex can just walk on the side. He's gonna be able to plant it. Uh, Deborn's close, but not close enough to stop it. What is? Oh, he's gonna cover. He's, he's just gonna checking check everything. Oh, this would be ridiculously. No way. He's going for it. He is going for it. But Deborn is right there waiting for him. So now the call happens. CT rotate, working back to B. Pex is gonna be able to get the easy plant in the B bomb site. So they get bomb money off of this, even if they don't win. Pex with that picked up rifle right there. Goes mm. down, Deborn peeks out with a Galil and just smoked him right there. So that is going to be an 11th round for Manajuma, and they're just running around picking up guns right now, making sure they have everything they need for their teammates. Irukanji 2K, Miniker 2K, and uh, Manajuma moves back up by three rounds. The more I think about it, the more I actually like that the play that Pex made. Uh, by a I mean, he was able to sneak into the site undetected. If there was a player that was waiting jail just for a sound or, or waiting CT, Pex could have caught him off guard. His, his downfall was that his fake was too good uh, and that the CTs rotated too far away. Uh, so I, I kind of like where he, where he was at mentally and I thought it was a really good attempt. Just could have used a, a little more execution. It was a little unlucky <laughs> for him. Either way, I think it was, it was a good try. Uh, and back into your 20th round now. 
terrorists are on a full buy here. Damage happens. Irakanji gets a little bit done to him, and uh, he trades a little bit of damage with Polly there. But most of your terrorists are worked over into the outside B, their upper B area, trying to work up that platform. And Adren is just looking to get that pick off, and he does. He gets Irakanji right there, getting a little greedy, peeking a little too hard. Execute coming. Only one player left in there. That's going to be Icy. Let's see what Icy can do from down here. A2Z has an inkling that he's down there. Flash comes off. Drop happens. He gets taken down by Pex, so Pex is able to get the bomb plant right now, and it is a three versus five, and all three of your remaining Manajuma players just bounce out of there. They can give this round up to buy next round, not have to try and gunfight here, and actually there's one terrorist out in the mid who heard this. This is Statutory Ape. Statutory Ape is going to hunt this. Uh, he's going to go for it. He knows the CTs are right there. Uh, D-Born is right in front of him, though. Yeah, I'm not sure how successful out. this hunt is going to be. I think the terrorists need the money a lot more than the counter-terrorists do, especially if they lose the next round. Oh, okay, so Statutory Ape is able to get, Statutory Ape is able to get a pick, is what I wanted to say. And if he's smart, he'll hide now. Now that the timer's over, he has no <laughs> business peeking. Because he's not going to get any money, Statutory Ape. Not sure where your head was at that time, but he does actually have plenty of money to rebuy. So all things considered, not terrible for him. And we are going to now move into your 21st round. Uh, the stream team was able to pick up a round there. They had been on a extreme cold streak right there. Man, Ajuma was able to clean that up through the first half right there. But that was, I do believe, our first buy. Full buy for both teams right there. And that went in the way of the stream team. So let's see if Manajuma is able to recover from what just happened there. Here comes the push into the B-bomb site. Pex gets one. Irakanji on the trade. Polly and Icy and Adren all getting kills right there. But it favored the stream team on Terra's side as D-Born and Shroud are left alive. Pex, Adren, and Sash Story Ape are able to work into B, get that bomb over there, and a very, very slow play here. Shroud is pushing up. Shroud just pushed right by Pex. Pex is going to come out, peek him from the side, get the easy kill on him. So now only your number six player of D-Born left alive versus three terrorists. Adren just shooting through that, and he pushes in. Statutory Ape luckily sees him moving his way through the smoke, and now the stream team has brought it back within one round. The score is 11 to 10 here. Manajuma had a stack going at B. They uh, had three players there, but they still weren't able to put it together. At the very least, if you're going to be stacking a site, um, you know, maybe you send two players to play aggressively, or if you're going to send all three, you can't have your third guy die, because it indicates that it was a stack. So they had an extra man there, so there's going to be less people rotating now that you've, you've taken him out. Uh, and also that they see it's a stack. I mean, if they were able to just see that there were three people there and fall back, even if they didn't get kills, it gives them a lot more intel than they had before. I would have been a lot, or I would want to see them to be a, uh, a little more careful on their stacks, maybe play those rounds a little more passive, try to bait uh, the stream team into coming into the site on a stack and not so much getting aggressive with the stack. Oh, look at that full stack into B Shroud. Only one over there at the A bomb site. This is going to be a light buy here. As you can see, we have pistols except for Dborn. Uh, yeah, D. Borden's the only one who did not upgrade to a different pistol here. Icy goes down, Shroud goes down, and the CT rotate. Irukanji does get one before he goes down. A2Z closes out the round, so no 2K. Actually, yeah, Pex got the 2K right there, but that was guns versus pistols. So the score is tied up 11 to 11 now. Manajuma looking to try and recover from this. They're losing quite a few rounds here. They allowed the stream team to catch all the way back up with them, but now they have money. They've full bought here, except for D. Borden. Oh, D. Borden and Irukanji do not have head armor here so risky but they're gonna go for it with they gotta do it they gotta stop do. the bleeding yeah definitely and they're gonna be playing that stack of b once again sending three players and they're sending three players aggressively the seven nine player are very close together and the eight guy is a little farther back uh unless i just misread those numbers yeah sorry that was a zero not an eight they look very similar but just like that they're actually sending them uh, away they didn't hear anything initially from the terrorists uh, so they, they did that quick stack and then ju just as quickly as they stack they fell off. Miniker's actually still kind of uh, in range and, and definitely within hearing range, which is important. They're going to be over all the way into B right now. All four, excuse me, not all four, but four of them. Their fifth player is over in the mid, just trying to work around. And there's a three-player stack here for Manajuma. I would like to see Manajuma do what the stream team did to them. Stack that middle, get aggressive there, cut off catwalk and T-stairs. Not allow them to work into a mid-control situation. They're really not doing that, but it just cuts the map in half, which gives the CTs the advantage on this. Having that mid-area cut, you cut rotates, you cut the fakes right there. But Manajuma not seeming like they're trying to adjust. They think they're able, or I'm assuming they think they're able 
to just out shoot right here as they've been able to do most of the CT side except for the last few rounds as the stream team is caught up but I don't know do you like the mid stack that stream team was doing yeah, I mean, it seemed to work for them, especially towards the end, although this round, Miniker has the right idea. He saw a smoke go out and no one chasing the smoke, so he assumed it was a fake, and he assumed uh, pretty much correctly. They have three... Oh my god, he's rotating a little... Oh, okay, he's staying. All right. I gotta just stop watching this. He, he's, his rotations are too quick and too confusing, and just like that, the tires are inside the site. Oh, Pex gets a kill, and Paul gets an entry. Eric Kanji in line to get a couple kills here. He does get a couple. He gets two, both headshots as he sprays down A2Z, and a Dren Bomb is planted in B, though... Pex is so extremely low right now. Only 9 HP era Kanji, very low also, 19. But he does have the only two kills on the round for the CT side. And here comes the rotate. So now we have Shroud, Ira Kanji, and Deborn trying to work in. Deborn just drops right into the site, gets one. Ira Kanji gets the other. Deborn goes for the defuse. Pex, last one left. He's going to be fine. He's going to peek last second here and try and get the kill off. No, thinks it's a fake. Shroud on the protecto gets out. Can't get it off. Shroud was ready and waiting for it. So Manajuma finally answers with Ira Kanji getting a 3k right there to win that first team. Shroud and Deborn getting the other two kills. But Manajuma moves back up 12 to 11. That was the retake they needed, and they did it in a similar fashion that I called for. If they're going to be stacking this side, they need to do it in a passive way where their players just won't get cut down at the same time. Uh, the terrorist came in, killed two counter terrorists, and Iru Kanji was still there unexpectedly and was able to pick up two kills as the bomb was going down and was able to just be a, you know, like a, a positional threat for the rest of the retake, which allowed him to pick up uh, definitely three, a third kill, but I'm not sure about the fourth one. Either way, it was a great play by him. And 24 rounds or 23 rounds in the books. We are into your 24th round now. You see Pex getting very aggressive, or excuse me, not getting extremely aggressive, trying to work his way out of the vent. No, nothing being aggressive from the CTs over in the mid area. Now we have one CT trying to work his way around. I can't really see who that is. I do believe it's a Miniker, though. And uh, CTs think they're coming A, and they're kind of right. There's two terrorists over there. So they throw a couple smokes, flashbangs, getting ready to halt that advancement. And the terrorists are definitely sitting around mid, more towards the A side. One player was in the vent. That was your number one at Pex, who was trying to work around. And Irukanji is actually sitting at the mid cross from jail side. So three CTs stacked into A, one in mid from jail on the fast rotate to B. And then your number seven player, last one left. That's going to be Icy over there in B, holding it down by himself. Very aggressive on the stairs right now. And the execute is coming into A. So terrorists trying to work their way up into the cap. Get some footing here. Not able to get an entry pick. Flashes counter them. Shroud shooting from horseshoe gets taken down by A2Z. Miniker inside the site also goes down. And here comes the flank. Irukanji gets one. Irukanji gets two right there. So the CTs aren't able to hold the A bomb site. And now we only have Icy by himself. Your number seven player versus three terrorists here. And I do think he's going to have to go for this no matter what. Uh, if he can get this right here. I don't want to take a peek at his money. Let's see how close he is. Very low. 1400. But I do think he's going to go for this 1v3. He probably thinks a few of them have some damage on him. Can't get the kill on Statutory Ape, who is sitting in the pit. Actually gets it off on him. So, rounds trades there. And I do believe Statutory Ape had a 3k. And Irukanji had 2 on that round. But we are back to even. 12 to 12. This is a, a ridiculously even back and forth game. And, and, you know, that was another round where Manajuma had the man stack in the right position. They just weren't able to hold on to it in terms of just picking up the, the kills. Uh, the, the teamwork from the stream team is, is working out really well, and, uh, you know, they're using the rifles to their advantage. They're covering the entire map also in a way that Manajuma didn't. Manajuma definitely started favoring uh, what was working for them, uh, and also the stream team was using the, the push in mid to cut off half the map. Maybe it's time for Manajuma to switch up their defense. Uh, they seem to be stacking it uh, pretty, like, well in terms of guessing where the towers are going to be going, so that's working out. But, but if they're not putting together the shots, clearly something else needs to be attempted. Irukanji was on that fast rotate as he pushed his way out of B into the jail like I do believe he's doing right now and he is trying to push his way up there but uh, not able to get enough kills on the flank actually he did get two kills on the flank so he did his job CT's inside the site were not able to hold it down correctly and Pex out mid is able to get Deborn Miniker very aggressive in the mid statutory ape takes down Irukanji Icy goes down Miniker on the push there just sprays that CC75 and Adren cleans it up so 2k for Pauly and uh, the stream team moves up by one round scores 13 to 12 taking the lead that might be the first time they've been in the lead since they won their pistol round on ct side initially right am, am i right about that say that one more time i think it's the first time that the stream team has been in the lead since uh their their pistol round win on ct yes they, yeah, they so... took that round and then lost out from there
That's a that's a pivotal round. They don't exactly lose that. They kept it close. Well, they lost the yeah eight seven and a half, but they didn't. The they lead. never. Yeah, they lost the lead from that point. That's a this is a pivotal round for them. And this round, Manajuma threw a a, a deep smoke in mid, cutting off the mid players. They didn't push on it, uh, which is interesting. But but at least they're kind of uh, you know mixing up their style a little bit, uh, dissuading the terrorists from using mid. And uh, it's really interesting that Manajuma is sticking with this. They're going to do a two three almost every round. And uh, one player usually rotates near mid out of one of the sites that has only two people. So they leave one site stacked with three. And the other site that has two, one of those players moves towards mid. And uh, then now we had Deborn, was your close mid guy, actually rotated fully back into the A bomb site. And your terrorist team is just stacked up in middle. See if they get an aggressive push here from Manajuma. And one player, that's going to be your number four. That is A2Z, who's actually going to work up towards the hall. Shroud is right there, playing a horseshoe like he always does. I, I feel like always, anyways, every time we've seen anything go down at the A bomb site, Shroud is right there in horseshoe. So A2Z is just going to look directly to that spot and try and shoot his face off before Shroud is able to do the same to him. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a full-on execute over into A. Wow, Adren on the huge lurk, actually getting a pick and B. He's causing a rotate. The CTs are, are moving out of uh, the J and CT spawn position, trying to, I guess, catch Adren, uh, assuming that the rest of the terrorists are with him. This is uh, an, an opening for them to take the site. If they take it right now, they might have an easy chance. But no, Deborn and Shroud shredding the terrorists as they're coming in. Yeah. Sorry, I took your job. I didn't realize that uh, I'd be stealing your job there. But yeah, great hold by the CTs. Even though they actually rotated a, a player off, it didn't matter. Uh, I guess the players there thought something was up. They were, they, they were highly suspect of uh, the stream team on that on that play. And Deborn getting those kills when his team needs it most there. He's only sitting at a 14-15 right now. That was a 3K right there, bumping him up almost to an uh, even KDR right there. But he's doing good when his team needs it. So tying it back up is Manajuma, 13-13. Stream team is going to be on a buy still, though. So is Manajuma, and they're going to work their way over here. Icy and Irukandji have held so well as they did again. Icy with three on the round. Irukandji teams up with him to get that one. So Irukandji kind of steals a Dren off of Icy. So now only Stetch, Tori Ape left alone. And B has almost always been on lockdown when they're moving together all at once into B against Icy and Irukandji. And it's, it's, there, it's a good hold over there at B with those two. Definitely, definitely. I, they, in fact, the only rounds uh, I'm pretty sure where they've given it up was uh, the pistol round, where you know pistols are pistols. That's that's just it, that, that's. I mean, that's a. It's just a total crapshoot. But uh, the only other rounds that were given up is actually rounds where they stacked it. Interestingly enough. Yeah, and look at this hunt right here. They do not want statutory ape to keep that gun since no one's around. And let's take a peek at his money. He is well off on money. Two players are kind of low, but with him and Adren, they should be able to buy uh, the other players and have no problem doing that. And actually, the people that are in real trouble are your CT side, who are uh, pretty low on money. But they're going to be able to win this round here. That's, oh, wow. That is an extreme hunt right now. Statutory Ape is all the way over at B. Wow. If he just executes on this and goes for it, he could grab that bomb and get the plant off before the CTs have any idea where he's at. Indeed. Yeah, I'm not sure what the thought process is for Manaju. I mean, they're going to be able to get back to the bomb uh, in time before uh, Satriap can get it. But really, they left a, a massive door opening for him, and he's actually able to pick up Irukandji because of it, just working very heavily. So forcing a rebuy there on Irukandji, who's pretty low money-wise. I don't want to take a peek again yet until we get to the end of this round. But Satriap is going for the kill here jumps out sprays he's gonna lose his gun right here actually how does he not get that shot off i do believe that was icy who had a 3k on the round miniker closes it out though and gets that kill so 14 13 manajuma is now up and uh man irikanji was pretty low there only got 4k now so that could have been really hurtful for him if he had a little bit less money entering that round yeah definitely his teammates have uh you know, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, so they could have dropped for him, so it wouldn't have been too terrible, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's holding on to guns is uh, super important, staying all, actually, no, he's going to work. Uh, yeah, had he had less money, he would have been in bad shape. That's what happens when you give a, a team an opportunity to work. I mean, they gave him the, the top half of the map, basically, to roam freely in. And I do believe I just made a mistake there trying to switch players, hit the wrong button. So that's why you guys saw that be right back screen. I fixed it quick, though. Sorry about that, guys. That was a complete accident. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, but we're, 
You guys didn't miss any game action. That was, wow, <laughs> that that felt stupid. I was trying to switch to the number one player, and I hit my hotkey for the other screen, and I was just, I completely panicked. I was like, oh, I just did that. But <laughs> Miniker is able to get stat story at the beginning of that. Pex on the trade out there, so one to one. Uh, looks like your CT team is just going to go back to that one stack. Ooh, one player actually both moving out towards the mid, which is good here. Adren very low in mid. He's only got nine HP, and... Uh, Yes, guys, we are uh, we are not gonna be right back. That was uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very sorry about that. My hot key for that is extremely close to the number one, and I, I got a little a little too greedy trying to switch over to Pex's view and uh, put us on that screen. But your terrorists are moving over into A right now. The four remaining terrorists are gonna try and get the numbers game going because they they got to figure by now. They might only have one player at this site. Either way, it's going to be a 50-50 chance. One site should probably only have one player, one in mid, and then two at the other one. And they choose the site with two players, and it Dborn gets one kill initially. Pex ended up on the trade. That's two trades right there for Pex. Irukonji gets a kill, so Pauly and A2Z are going to meet up against Shroud. Shroud just playing because he's completely blind. Pauly, last one left. He's fighting against Icy and Shroud. He knows Shroud's up there. He knows where Icy is. So he's just going to fake this plant right here and see if he can get Shroud to come at him. And it doesn't happen. Shroud peeks out. Icy gets it from the side. So Manajuma locks up 15 rounds here. And this is a guaranteed tie, if not overtime, for Manajuma right now. Or, well, not if not overtime. It will be overtime. So Manajuma 15 to Stream Teams 13. The stream team isn't super financially solvent right now either. They may not have enough, uh, you know, gas and money in the tank to 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 come back and win these next two rounds. I see Pax has a P90 but does have head armor, uh, and Pauly, who actually does have a rifle, has no nades and no head armor. Not ideal against M4s, and actually they now have AKs at this point. But head armor is not really going to help anybody. And those nades did a ton of damage at the beginning of the round. Icy and Eric Kanji are holding B like champions. Icy. Gets another one right there. Miniker gets one. So now all we have is the final player, which is Adrian Miniker. Cleans him up. So Icy with a 2K. Miniker with a 2K. And Manajuma wins the game 16 to 13. That's not as close as I thought it was going to be, but no. they still won. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Manajuma had a great showing there. They, they